We rolling? Uh. All right, we have the Jing smartphone. Zi Yun, Zi Yun. All right, we have the Zi Yun Smooth 5S AI gimbal that is specifically for smartphone shooters. Now, typically, I I I don't usually do these kind of videos. I don't do videos about smartphone shooting because I myself don't really shoot on a smartphone. Like if my work, I always shoot on cinema cameras and regular mirrorless cameras. I usually don't shoot anything on smartphones unless it's just like me, you know, just capturing memories or whatnot. But I feel like this one is special because this gimbal I think was made for one person and one person only, and that is my dad. He is a real estate agent uh, and he does these uh, the, the house walkthrough tours on his phone and he's just like holding his phone like this and just like walking around just go like that and just like kind of like narrating the whole thing as he's walking through the house right so uh this one is for you ba if you're watching i don't know why you're watching but if you're watching this ba this one is for you you should probably get this one for your real estate videos <laughs> and i guess of course this could also be for people who are vloggers um solo shooters this gimbal is probably for you guys too all right so for those of you who have never used or seen a smartphone gimbal before this is how it works dad are you listening here this one's for you so you put the camera or the smartphone in between these little bracket things and uh, you can either mount it vertically or you can mount it horizontally like i am right now i can show you what it looks like vertically Give me one second boom and then boom, like that. Then push it down, and then you gotta do this thing called balancing the gimbal. Let me take off this case really quick. This thing is not working. So in order to balance the gimbal, you're going to unlock this, and then just make sure that whatever direction it's falling in, that means that side is too heavy. So you're just gonna push the arm this way, just to balance it out. Still going over to the right side. Now it's going to the left, see that? That means the left side's too heavy. Perfect. When it doesn't move or doesn't tilt in either side, that means you've balanced it perfectly and uh, you're good to go. The whole point of getting a gimbal like this is to really help you stabilize the shots that you're shooting, especially when you're like just walking around the house. You always will introduce some sort of like shaking movement when you're like moving around. Without using a gimbal, your shots will look really shaky. But with a gimbal, it will smooth out those shots a lot more so that you don't have to have your client watching the video and getting a headache from watching the video. So when I did my testing for this gimbal, I took it out on our camping trip to Joshua Tree a couple weeks ago. I shot a bunch of stuff uh, just to test out, you know, what the gimbal can do and put it through its paces and just kind of shoot it as if I was shooting on a mirrorless camera or a cinema camera. Now, when I was out in the desert, I was shooting with this thing and the motors were actually really strong for a gimbal that is this small. I was like running around in the desert, just running up the rocks and stuff like that and just panning and whipping around the, the gimbal and trying to get, trying to make it break, honestly. I was trying to see if I could break the gimbal and then make it like, just like do weird random stuff with the motors. At no point did I feel like the motors weren't strong enough for one of some of the whipping actions that I was trying to go for. It just works, you know? The motors on this gimbal are very, good they're very strong uh, i don't know what they did on this one but yeah this one's really good one thing i really wish that they did was allow you to fine tune the settings of the motor strength yourself they only have two settings which is a run and a walk setting inside the zy cami app which is the app that you use to control the whole gimbal but i really wish that you could type in a number yourself in order to change the deadpan the follow speed and a bunch of other customizations that you can do on the more pro mirrorless oriented and cinema oriented gimbals, like the Crane series of gimbals. Now I mentioned the ZY Cami app, which is Zuying's platform for you to shoot and also edit the films and videos that you're shooting. But you can still use the native camera app that's inside of your smartphone because it is connected via Bluetooth. And that will still work with the record buttons um, in the front and also on the side. Now, one thing that's really unique about this gimbal is the addition of this fill light that is on the back of the gimbal. This is really cool. So now for dad, you, Ba, this is great for you because you know like how you've been complaining about like, oh, some rooms are really dark because the uh, there's no lights, there's no ceiling lights or any lights in the room itself. Um, so now you're able to have a light built into your gimbal and you can turn it on via this little button that's on the front right here. You just hold it and then it'll turn off and you hold it again and it will turn on again. So this little fill light can get really bright. Um, in order to change the setting of the brightness, you just rotate this uh, wheel on the front right next to the light button, All right? So now you're gonna make it really dim. This way is gonna make it really bright. In case that this wasn't enough for you, 
Uh, there's also a magnetic little clip-on fill light that you can attach to the bottom right here. It goes, where is it? Right there. And it automatically turns on as well. And you can also adjust both of the settings of these two lights. In a darker environment, this actually gets pretty bright. You can actually add another third one on top right here. And also you can make it magnetic, which is really cool. So you can just uh, turn, take it out and then it will turn on. Yes, like that. Oh my God, it's bright. It is so bright. You can actually change the color temperature of it using these little uh, clip-on color changers that go like that. And then you can now, if I turn it on, this light is now blue. Then I can make it warmer with this orange one right here, like that. Now there's an orange light. And yeah, honestly, this is a, such a smart little design that they that Zoom did for this gimbal. Uh, really makes it handy for people, especially like vloggers or people who are uh, who don't want a huge lighting system. This works really well if you're just vlogging. And you can also obviously turn this little light around so that it's facing you. Oh my God, that's bright. Uh, and uh, you can just vlog and talk to it selfie style. And this whole lighting system came in super handy actually when we were out in the desert, uh, when you know the sun sets and it was at nighttime. And Bob, honestly, this is probably what the selling point is for you on this gimbal. This is like, if you're able to just go into a darker room and just turn on these lights and just start filming and have a really clear image, this will make your videos like 10 times better than what you already have shot before in the past. All right, so I'll give it to you to test out after I'm done with this uh, video, <laughs> so you can check it out. But wait, there's more. So the AI part of the Smooth 5S AI comes from this little, oh, I guess AI tracker. It's just a little like motion tracker thing that is also magnetic at the bottom and it just clips right on to the top right there. And you can see that it kind of like blinks and turns on and stuff like that. So what it does is it recognizes hand gestures uh, that you can do in front of it and it will start recording, you can stop recording, and it can also track you on the gimbal as you're moving around in the shot. So let me see if I can actually get it to track me right now. So this okay means to start tracking. You can see that as I'm moving around, this thing is actually tracking my face, I think. It's my face that it's looking at, all right? And then we're gonna have it stop, so the full five fingers right here, that stop. And now as I'm moving around, it doesn't track anymore. Okay, and then we're gonna start tracking again. So this thing is really useful. We took it out to film ourselves playing pickleball one day. And, um, you know, cause we've been really into playing pickleball recently, me and my wife. Um, and so we took it out and tried to test out some of these features. And so here are some of the shots that we were able to get. I was simply just putting this gimbal on a tripod. So it was stationary and I just had it track myself as I was playing pickleball and just doing some drills, serving, and just hitting some shots back and forth with me and my wife. And to be honest, it worked really well. And the only times that it kind of didn't work was when I went behind an object, like I went behind the net one time and I think I squatted down and it lost me for a second and then it wasn't able to recover after that. So then it would just stop following me and you will just hold the same frame that it had when it lost my body. Now this thing is really useful because it doesn't matter if you're using the ZY Kami app or using the native camera app inside of your smartphone, it'll work regardless. That's a great little feature. You don't, you're not tied to a specific app, which would suck uh, if it did, but it doesn't. So this is great. For you, dad, if you're walking around the house or the room, showing people what the room looks like, for example, you're walking from this side of the room in the frame all the way to the other side of the frame, uh, and then you're able to use something like this little motion tracker thing and it will just follow the camera will just follow you and keep you centered the entire time and then you don't have to actually have anyone else help you you can just kind of you know set it there and then you can just record yourself and honestly this little ai device thing is really useful uh for anybody not just my dad it's actually so nice uh, being able to record myself playing pickleball and just having it move around and you don't have to ever worry about yourself moving out of frame and losing that footage or that moment that you're capturing now because the gimbal connects to the smartphone via bluetooth you can virtually mount any smartphone that you have if it has bluetooth it'll work another cool little feature is the little zoom and focus ring right here you can actually zoom into your image via the turning this little wheel thing and it will go and switch between your wide angle, your normal, and also your telephoto lenses uh, once it hits that certain threshold for the zoom level. You don't have to touch your phone and just like tap it. You can just control everything on your phone via this little wheel right here. Now, one of the advantages of using the ZY Cami app is the fact that you can draw a little box in the app around the object of the person that you want to track 
and it'll recognize that, oh, this is the thing that you want me to track. So I'll just keep holding it. No matter where the gimbal is moving, the camera will always keep the object of the person in the middle of the frame. So that is perfect for, you know, spouses or partners who are helping you shoot and they aren't, you know, the best with cameras and you don't really know how to use it. Uh, all they need to do now is just draw a box around you and they can move or you can move wherever you need to be and they can just hold it like this and uh, it will just keep you in the middle of the frame, which is nice. And for that feature, you actually don't even need this little attachment for the AI tracker thing. Uh, you can just do it in the ZY Cami app yourself. Okay, some of the other things that I really like really quickly, I wanna go over them. Uh, the battery life, insane battery life. It, it lasts for like ever. I think seven hours of normal use, I think is what is advertised. I was able to get plenty of battery life, uh, especially on that camping trip where I don't have any access to like power. So that was great. I think it's only two hours if you have uh, three fill lights on like max brightness. But you know, yeah, two hours of max brightness is really good. I'm assuming you're not gonna be using max brightness all the time. So battery life, amazing. Another thing that I really liked about the gimbal is the locking mechanisms on the arms itself. So now when you're traveling or you're moving the gimbal around, you don't actually need to uh, have the gimbal kind of like flopping around like this, you know, uh, this is terrible for the gimbal and for your sanity. So what you can do now is uh, lock everything in place. So this will lock, uh, this goes locks over here like that. This locks right here. So now it's like it's everything is in one piece. It doesn't flop around. You don't need to worry about damaging the gimbal. So this is nice. This is really good for traveling around with it. Another thing that I like is the addition of this quarter inch thread. So now you can attach accessories to the side of your gimbal if you wanted to. For example, uh, if you were shooting on your smartphone and you were say shooting on an iPhone with the Apple Log, Apple Log shoots at a very high bit rate. So the files are insanely huge. So you would need to shoot on an SSD, something like this, uh, and you would attach it to uh, the side of your gimbal right here via like a hot shoe mount like this, right? And you would attach it like that and then your, uh, your SSD holder would just slot right in like that. So this whole thing will just go on the side of your gimbal, just like this. So now you can just shoot however long you want in Apple Log on your iPhone, which is amazing. And I also really like the design of the entire thing. It's like there's there's these like clear, like semi-transparent things for the motors, this covers for the motors, which so you can see like the actual wiring inside of it. So it gives like a really cool futuristic feel to the whole gimbal, uh, especially with this front plate where the uh, joystick is. Uh, it's also semi-transparent, which is kind of cool. One small little thing that I really would like to see changed, I really wish this little bar thing was a lot brighter and a lot bigger uh, so that I can easily tell what mode I'm shooting in. And when I was shooting out in the desert, especially in bright sunlight, these little letters did not seem to light up for me. So I had to, I was so confused the entire time of like, oh, which mode am I on? Am I pan follow or am I follow? Is it vortex mode? I just couldn't figure it out until I went like this and I was like, oh, it like faintly read like, oh, PF or it was lock or it was like followed by like, it was really hard to see. So in the future, I would love for this to be much bigger and also much brighter. Oh, also I keep forgetting to show this to you guys, but this is the case that it comes in. It's got a nice little compartment on the inside to put in your gimbal right here. And then also the two other accessories right there. Also, you have a little storage section up top Right, And then also in the front right here is a little section as well that you can put like things. It's not very deep, it goes in down to like maybe like right here. Um, and so yeah, you can just put stuff, whatever you have, knickknacks, paper, lanyards, wires inside of here. Now, as far as pricing goes, there's three different tiers, like combo packages that you can get. There's a standard, there's a combo, and I think there's a pro version. I'll put the pricing down here-ish. Which one is mine? Mine is, so mine here is the pro version because it comes with the tracker and also comes with the extra fill light accessory. All right, and those are pretty much all the features that I wanted to talk about for this Zooming Smooth 5S AI. I think for, uh, for you, this is like a great option for your real estate videos. For anyone else who is not my dad, but are in a similar situation where you're shooting by yourself or you have maybe one other person filming you, I also think this is a really good option because of the little tracking features and the fill lights option. Uh, this is, this, those are really good, really cool features 
that I think a lot of people will get a lot of use out of. All right, let me know if you have any other questions down below in the comments. I'll try to get to every one of them and um, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It really helps grow this little community that we have. So uh, yeah, until the next one, my name is Alex Chung and I'll see you later, bye. <laughs> cool, all right. Nice, we're done, let's go. All right, we out of here, baby. <laughs>